Uh, hello, in this video I'll show you how you can uh, launch your own uh, R Studio server using Amazon AWS in a few minutes. So first thing you have to do is uh, go to AWS Amazon.com and um, uh, sync into your existing account or create one if you don't have it. After you log in, you'll see this uh, kind of um, main dashboard for your um, AWS account. Go to services and uh, select EC2. In EC2 you can create your own um, servers and use them pretty easily. So um, to launch a new um, instance, press launch instance, this, this button here. Yeah. And here you can see um, kind of standard, standard um, set of available um, um, instance types. Uh, these are kind of bare operation, um, operation systems only. But I will go to a community AMIs, that's um, kind of images that um, people create and share with community. It's pretty cool. Um, you can find here a lot of useful stuff. You can see that there they have like 70,000 uh, AMIs here. That's pretty cool. So for now, I want to find uh, Ubuntu RStudio uh, image. Yeah, you can see we have a few here. Um, yeah, you can find, you know, what, what the server um, is just from the name and uh, version of the RStudio R. Here are additional stuff like Julia or Kuda, but I don't need it. I will go with this one. It seems like just uh, Ubuntu 14 and, uh, well, pretty old versions of RStudio or and R, but I don't care for now. So I will select it. And here next you have to select what type of instance do you want. I will go with simple one with just one core and one gigabit of RAM. But if you um, want, you can go wild and create a server with 64 cores and you know 256 gigabytes of, of RAM. But simple one is fine for me. Uh, next details so that are mostly um, related to you know networks or, or and more monitoring. Um, I don't care for now. I will just go next. I'm fine with 10 gigabit gigabytes of uh, hard drive for now. I don't need any tags. Yeah, and, and security groups are, are is pretty important thing. Um, they kind of defined uh, who can access your server. So by default, you can. Connect to your server only with SSH, but uh, for our studio server we need a HTTP connection. Uh, so I will open a standard one, port number eighty. Also, I will open eight seven eight seven. Sometimes our studio use this one. I'm not sure about this uh, particular image, so I will open them both. Okay, so review. It uh, yes, so it seems okay. So let's launch it. And next, it, it will ask you to uh, choose a, a key for your server. Um, this is pretty important because this key you can use to connect to your server via SSH. I have um, already a key created, but you can um, choose create a new key pair, and after that, you can download it and use it. So I will select existing key. And just press launch. Okay, it seems launching. Let's see. Yeah, and while it, yeah, and it usually takes like one or two minutes to launch a new server. That's why I just love AWS. It's it's very fast. Um, and also while while it's launching, um, actually I prefer to create my own servers from scratch. I think it's kind of um, better you know better way to do it because you have more control over stuff you install on your server you have control of you know um, particular versions you need particular softwares but for that you have you, you need like a little more time and uh, you need some you know some default skills to about you know uh, Linux and uh, stuff but it's not so hard as well so okay we can see that server is already running 
next thing you have to do is copy this public DNS address to clipboard and let's open new tab and um, try to access it yeah we can see it's up and running and I think by default they're using uh, our studio both as username and password in default, default st installation let's try It will take like a few moments uh, for the first time when it launches, but after that it will be much faster. So you can see uh, it's full, fully functioning our, our, our studio EDE and uh, all code you will uh, launch here will be executed on your server. I think it's pretty useful. They also um, added small script here with, with this command. You can change your default post password. Um, yeah, I think that's all. Um, now you can use uh, the server. Thank you for watching. Bye.